Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Shad Tufani and I am here to present the paper we submitted entitled Analyzing Online Media Article on Diabetes Using NLP, a Comparative Study of Indian Ocean Region and France. To understand why this work was done, we need to first understand the context. I've shown here some of the figures concerning diabetes. One in 10 adults are living with diabetes. If we look at the figures for Africa, by the year 2045, there will be an increase by 129 percent in the year 2021 416,000 people died because of diabetes and finally over three in four adults with diabetes live live in low and middle income countries. These figures are from the International Diabetes Federation. I come from Mauritius and these are the figures concerning Mauritius with the population of 1.2 million people we have a prevalence of diabetes of 22.8% and pre-diabetic people of na uh, uh, representing 19.5%. You can imagine what is the socioeconomic burden on such a small island because of diabetes. According to the International Diabetes Federation. This is Mauritius. By the year 2030, Mauritius is going to be ranked second in terms of prevalence and will still be second by the year 2045. However, with the prevalence of 25.3 percent of the population being diabetic. The situation is so alarming that we have been thinking of uh, proposing a new ecosystem to bring our contribution to curb this increase. As you can see here, we are we are proposing and we have a team working on how we can use intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence, combine it with a protocol, with a system where you have got the patient and the medical practitioners to find solution. The first part that we want to investigate, because we do know that people tend to look for information on the internet first. So we wanted to mine data from official newspapers, online newspapers, to do some text mining on it and to find insight about what are dealt with what are the topics that are used, what are the word association, and what are the sentiment. However, we wanted also to compare it to a developed countries. So we took information from the Indian Ocean region, mainly Mauritius, Reunion Island, and Madagascar, and compare it to France. So we expect 
by applying word association to online news media on diabetes, it will enhance our understanding of the semantic relationship between the terms. We hope topic modeling will help in organizing and analyzing the vast amount of information available and provide insight into prevalent topics, trends, and knowledge gap. We hope that the application of sentiment analysis will provide insight into public perception, impact assessment, and help in understanding prevalent sentiment and controversies. Our aim is to create a purpose of text on diabetes, which we hope will be used as input to another project in our ecosystem, use an NLP techniques to analyze the data set, create insight and share to stakeholders, and contribute in the process of health literacy by, by opposing the two different regions. We move now on to the how we collected our data. So different techniques of web scrubbing were used to extract electronic data from structured web pages. We used Beautiful Soup, which is the Python library, PassHub, and Octopus. All data collected are then compiled and separated into two different regions. It was necessary that the create that, that the Corpus created for the two regions is up to date to reflect the lifestyle being adopted and the situation of diabetes. So articles within five years were retrieved and others were discarded. The following image gives an idea of what are the tasks that, that would have to be carried out. So the first task was word association. So applying word association to online media articles enhances our understanding of semantic relationship between terms, aids in topic extraction, clustering, support trends, and facilitate personalized content. Word to vec is a technique for natural language processing, which was published in 2013. The word to vec algorithm uses a neural network model to learn word association from a large corpus of text. Once trained, such a model can detect synonymous word and suggest additional word words for a partial sentence. Word to vec is used to work out the word embeddings. There are different libraries to perform the embedding. We can use Keras or the GenSim library. Let's see the result we obtain from the word association. While we believe this information can better be interpreted and investigated by field specialists, a first analysis shows that there are clearly big discrepancies as to words that are evoked and are set in close proximity to the anchor word nutrition. Alimentation means nutrition because it was done in French. While for the Indian Ocean part, words like greedy, consumption, eating are in close proximity to nutrition. In France, we have the word balance, probably meaning balanced diet, healthy, varying, different, 
that are close to nutrition. Another findings on the word association. Again, we see discrepancies with mainly hypertension appearing for the Indian Ocean region, while it is missing in France. However, with diabetes, which is sometimes called the obesity pandemic, we see that it does not appear in the Indian Ocean part, but it does appear in the in France as obesity. We move on to the topic identification part. We hope that topic modeling can, can help us to identify and extract themes that are discussed in online news articles with relation to diabetes in our contest. This will help in understanding the prevalent topics being covered in the media. I would like to again point out we are investigating the media because people tend to be tend to go online to look for information. So we want to look for to understand prevalent topics being covered in the media such as treatment research advancement, lifestyle management, prevention strategies, or policy discussions. By analyzing the distribution of topics over time, topic modeling can reveal emerging trends. It can allow healthcare professionals to stay updated on the evolving landscape. And finally, we hope that analyzing topics will help to shed light on public health concern, prevent prevalent misconception, and gaps in knowledge. This information can guide also public health campaign and educational initiative to address common misconception about diabetes. One being, for example, you can be cured from diabetes. So the techniques that was applied here was the latent Dirichlet algorithm, also referred to as LDA. LDA is an unsupervised algorithm that assigns each document a value for each defined topic. Latent is another word for hidden, that is, features that cannot be directly measured, while Dirichlet is a type of probability distribution. LDA considers each document as a mix of topics and each topic as a mix of words. It iterates through a total number of topics and each word. It will randomly assign each word to a topic and evaluate how often the word occurs in that topic together with which other word. This approach follows a similar, similar way of thought as we humans would. This makes LDA easier to interpret and one of the most popular methods used. Let's now see why, what are the results we obtain from application of LDA to our data set. There are lots of similar topics from both regions as infant, which means kids, alimentation, which means nutrition, alcohol, which means alcohol, fruit, and so on. There are, top topics, there are topics such as pregnancy, sleep, that appears in France 
and not in Indian Ocean. There are actually important factors that can be investigated here. We now move on to the sentiment analysis part. So for sentiment analysis, due to lack of label data set for diabetes, we used another alternative to train our models of an LP. The different, three different famously used data set were retrieved from the internet, namely the SST5, the Amazon Review, and Yelp Review. SST5 is a Stanford sentiment tree bank dataset consisting of five classes of sentiment on movie reviews. It is well regarded as a crucial dataset and used as a primary benchmark dataset. Because of its capability to test NLP model on sentiment analysis, Amazon Review is based on product reviews from Amazon and also consists of five classes. Yelp dataset is based on business reviews and has five classes of sentiment. 10,000 training data and 2,000 testing data from each of the three datasets are extracted randomly to generate the dataset used to train our NLP model for sentiment classification. From all the data set, five classes are combined to form three classes of negative, neutral, and positive sentiment. For the model used, it was transformer-based model. The paper, attention is all you need, introduced the transformer model which is a revolutionary neural network architecture that made a significant impact on natural language processing and other domain. Published by Vaswani and all, the paper proposed a novel approach to sequence modeling that eliminates the need for recurrent neural networks, RNN, and convolutional neural networks. For sequence modeling, we are talking about sequence modeling. The transformer model relies, relies solely on the attention mechanism, which allows the model to focus on relevant part of the input sequence when generating output. This attention mechanism enables the model to capture long-range dependencies and learn contextual representation effectively. The authors were able to demonstrate the effectiveness of the transformer model on machine translation tasks, where they achieved state-of-the-art results on several benchmark datasets. I would like to take some time to explain what we mean by attention is all we need, all you need. In this sentence, the word bank can have two different meanings. And we are looking at it from a machine point of view. We humans, when we read it, it's quite clear for us we are referring to a financial institution. However, the machine cannot know. The attention mechanism helps our model to determine the appropriate meaning of bank here. And that meaning is based on the context. By applying the attention mechanism, the model can attend to different parts of the input sentence dynamically adjust the importance of each word based on the decoding context. This enables the model to disambiguate the words like bank 
and make accurate prediction based on the, on the relevant information from the input sentence. In our case, it will know that when we are talking about bank, we are referring to the financial institution. For sentiment analysis, we use different model, pre-trained model that we find showed. These models are based on the BERT model, which is based itself on transformer. These are the parameters that we used. The learning rate control the speed the rate or speed at which the model learns and we do know that a large learning rate enables the model to learn faster whereas smaller learning rate will take significantly longer to train but may allow the model to learn a more optimal or even globally optimal set of weight in our case the number of epochs we set was forced by the time of execution because we had a resource limitation, so we eventually set the batch size and the number of epochs so that our model could run. We now move to the result we obtain. As you can see, the best result was obtained from the bird-based Roberta, Roberta model, which had an accuracy of 92% and took about 3 hours and 34 minutes to run. Since Robert, uh, the, the Roberta model showed the best performance, it was used to classify the created corpus into positive, negative, and neutral classes. Interestingly, the analysis revealed that the Indian Ocean had a higher proportion of negative articles compared to France. This finding provides a preliminary understanding of the diabetes related discourse in different regions. It also establishes a baseline for future research. Moreover, the addition of more data to the corpus is, accept is expected to yield more meaningful and informative results in further investigation. For future works, we did mention that before, we hope to improve the data collection process. We will, once we get more data, it is important that we get the appropriate processing power. But more importantly, we would want to use the data set and everything that have been put in place here to feed it to an intelligent chatbot which we explain at the start of this expose and forms part of our ecosystem. I would like to thank you for your attention. I take the opportunity to thank the reviewers who reviewed the papers and the organizers of the conference. I would now take your question in case you have any questions.